Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about how to calculate midpoint frequency and relative frequency from a frequency chart. If you need more information on how to construct a frequency chart from data, just search for my previous video, How to Construct a Frequency Chart. It's on my YouTube channel, Miss Carpenter Schools You. So, right now we've got our data, we've got our class sizes, our tally marks, and the frequency. To get midpoint frequency, you're going to add your lower limit to your upper limit for each class size and then divide by the number two, always the number two for midpoint. So if I'm following this formula for class one, I'm gonna to add together 19 and 30, because those were my ranges for this class. I'm gonna divide that by two. It's gonna give me 49 divided by two, which gives me a midpoint of 24. Point five, and I'm going to write it just like that with the decimal. And Ms. Caldwell is going to want you to show your work, so I would put the 19 plus 30 divided by 2 and all of this, I would write that um, on your paper somewhere. So you're going to continue doing that all the way down for midpoint frequency. Let's practice one more. To find the midpoint frequency for class 2, I'm going to add up my range, 31 plus 42, then I'm going to divide that by 2. So I'm going to get 73 divided by 2. So my midpoint is 36.5. You follow that formula for every one of these midpoints. Okay, so here are the rest of the answers for midpoint if you want to check and see that you're doing it correctly. Now let's move on to relative frequency. Now to find relative frequency, I need to divide the frequency for each class by the total number. The way that you can find the total number is by adding up all your data. So down here, I can see that our total number is 48. And my frequency for class one was three. So I'm gonna take three and divide it by the total number to get my relative frequency. And I want you to round this to two decimal places. So if you put this in the calculator, you're going to get 0 0.0625, which I'm just going to round to 0 0.06. So my relative frequency is going to be 0 0.06. Okay, let's practice one more. Let's look at class two. My frequency was 10. So I'm going to do 10, Ooh, that it looks like a 16, divided by 48. That's going to give me 0 0.2083, which I'm going to round up to 0.21. So my frequency is 0.21 for class 2. I'm going to work the rest of these, and um, you can check your answers. So if you want to work them, pause it now. Okay, here's the rest of the answers for relative frequency. Um, I hope this helps. Thanks.